Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from us here at Campervan Journey. If you enjoy anything to do with camping and camper vans, click the button to like and subscribe and you'll be kept up to date with all of our latest videos here on Camper Van Journey. So we're just packing up to get ready for our trip across to France and uh, just loading the van up, getting everything ready before we set off later today. Got a whole load of stuff to try and fit in, so just wanted to show you just how we pack uh, ready for our trip away. So as some of you know, we've got a Volkswagen California that we use um, to travel in and camp in, but we also take with us a big Outwell tent as well. Plenty of room in the back of our California beach. And one of the great things is that we can slide the seats backwards and forwards on these rails, stack up to the roof or up to the sort of height of the rear seats giving us lots of room to take all our kit. Put the bike rack on the back in a moment with our tow bar mounted Atira bike rack and then tent and various other bits all waiting to be packed. So to make it easier for packing, what we discovered two or three years ago is if we try and use these plastic storage boxes, these ones come from a company called The Really Useful Box, and uh, we just put try and cluster together. So we've got camping equipment, food, and then odds and sods, toys and bits. So it just makes it much easier to, to pack these up and then load them all and then they stack nice and securely as well in the van. So all these bits and bobs we'll pack in in just a moment. And with the smaller items then we just sort of fill those in the gaps. So the beach setup gives us perfect room in the back for our three kids three seats across the rear, plenty of room, and even with the seats slid forward, there's still plenty of leg room for them. PowerPoint so they can charge their iPads and devices whilst they're traveling, and ventilation in the back as well. So we've got two of these window bags from a company called Vanessa Mobile Camping and they clip into the window frame area of the rear windows on both the driver and passenger side. We've got two of them and there's huge amounts of storage in them. We've got some, there's four sections. So one, two, three, four, two on each of the bags. You see that they're packed with clothes and each section will take enough clothes for, for pretty much one person for the whole of our trip but it uses up some space in the van that otherwise would be redundant. So really, really clever idea and very easy to put in as you'll see now. So the window bags just clip into the window frame. So slide them up. They slot in behind the blinds. And as simple as that, they're in position. And you can see that once they're there, they're completely out of the way of everything else giving us plenty of space, other space to store, but we've got clothes in that one there for two people for two weeks, which is fantastic. So I'll just put the other one in the other side. They've got a nice carry handle on as well. Now what we'll do when we get to the campsite, we'll take them out and take them into the tent sometimes, just as we would do a normal bag or we can just leave them in position in the van but it does a great job of keeping everything tidy and out of the way for our trip. Up we 
because we are a family of five and we have a four bike bike rack um one of our bikes for our youngest harry needs to fit inside the boot area so that's going to fit across the back here and i'll show you how we fit that in now So the bike fits in quite nicely across sideways the load area and then we'll just strap it in we're using these bungee cords to make sure it doesn't move whilst we're traveling just like that So we mustn't forget the barbecue and we mustn't forget the legs for the barbecue. So we have the legs for the barbecue and the kidak. Just get that fit nicely there. So everything's got its place. I like to make sure everything is securely slotted and located as we go along. So we're slowly getting there with packing everything up for a trip. It's taken us about um, 45 minutes to pack so far, but you can see so we like to use the boxes. So we've got everything boxed up so we know what's where. So we've got our cooking and eating stuff, our food that we take with us, washing and general games. And then some other bits and box, metal, medical box, and everything is all nicely. And so only a few other bits and bobs. Just as a point, we always leave the gas bottle at the back and accessible just in case when you're on the tunnel or the ferry, they want to check and make sure that it's secure and locked off all okay. And a few other bits to put in, and then we're ready to fit the bike rack. So we managed to get most of our kit all loaded up before the rain came here in Salisbury and we're all ready to set off now on the first leg of our trip down to the Channel Tunnel uh, where we catch the tunnel this evening, drive through and then head off down through northeastern France to our first destination in the Alsace region where we hope to arrive on Sunday lunchtime. Remember, if you want to follow our trip or have enjoyed anything to do with camping and camper vans, click the button to like and subscribe and you'll be kept up to date with everything from us here at Campervan Journey. Thanks for watching.